following segment is sponsored by Martin, Harding & Mazzotti. With a new variant of the coronavirus identified and winter setting in, Governor Hochul announced a renewed mask mandate for all indoor businesses just about two weeks ago. I spoke with managing partner Paul Harding from the law firm of Martin Harding and Mazzotti. I asked him how the mask or vaccine requirement applies to businesses and patrons and what rights they have. If you have a business, you've got to make a decision. Right? You're either going to say everybody who enters this business has to be vaccinated and prove by showing a vaccination card, or you've got everyone has to wear a mask. Right? There's no kind of honor system or kind of half you can wear it, half you can't. And you know when that rolled out, people were lots of energy around this, and uh, but it seems to have settled down quite a bit. Is there an exemption from wearing a mask if you're vaccinated? Yeah, that was kind of the argument that people were kind of making. Hey, I got the vaccination. I'm good. But if I'm not hanging out with 100% of my brethren that have also chosen to get vaccinated and show the card, then no. Uh, vaccination or no vaccination, uh, if you don't, you, when you enter a building that doesn't require your proof of 100%, you are wearing a mask. And that leads me to my next question. For businesses that decide to require proof of vaccination, then who has to wear a mask? Right. So if you do require proof of vaccination and you've got the you show your card, then you don't have to wear a mask. You know, at the gym the other day, proved the vaccination and nobody was wearing a mask. And then, of course, I go to another gym uh, the day later and it's a different facility and everyone had their masks on regardless of the vaccination. So we're seeing different application of the rules, but that's what the governor intended and it seems to be working. And what sort of repercussions are there for businesses who decide not to enforce the mask, ma mask mandate or vaccine requirement? Well, the New York State Health Department has the ability to issue fines up to $1,000 per violation. But, you know, are the inspectors out the way they were before? You know, you hear things and not quite sure that the enforcement is, is quite as strong as it was prior. Maybe they're ramping it up. Maybe we're going to hear more about that but I've not heard of anybody who's been issued a violation. Well, Paul, thank you so much. That does it You're for welcome. today's edition of What Are Your Rights?